Well, Ben, firstly, congratulations on uh, in your comeback. It's it's eleven months out, and I'm sure there's probably been a few highs and lows and, and thoughts that you know when this when this day was going to come. But you finally got on today, so just you know, tell us your thoughts. I know it was a wee bit of relief. Um, it's been a long journey, um, tough. I kind of obviously knew physically I was going to be all right, um, but it was mentally you knew you were going to be out between ten and twelve months. Um, and to luckily it be eleven and come back in a stadium like this it's been a it's been a long road but worth it every bit yeah it's um, it's quite strange because we've probably seen you on crutches through mm. through the clubs you know highs of last season and the playoffs you were there you were supporting the you know the team your teammates the staff etc um, yeah and, and it is it's you know coming here it must have been one of these pinch me moments and and you know you're thrown into the free of it because um, you know it was uh, it was certainly getting a bit hectic out there as well. No, it was. I was gutted at the end of last season. Um, I thought it was coming probably... Last season was a bit on and off for me. Um, I didn't really play much at Hamilton. Um, and then it's been credit to the club. They brought me in um, just going into the new year. I uh, played, I think it was 17 games, basically in a row. Uh, I was going into the playoffs in good condition, felt fit as I'd ever been. I um, was regularly playing 90 minutes and then... I'm sick in the madness and that's me out for this while but to support the boys in the playoffs um, they were excellent to a man um, and even this season it's made it so much easier when you see the boys on the pitch um, going to every game uh, the gaffer's been brilliant with me he's said you don't have to go to all the away games um, as it is tough watching every week I think that's 29 games that I've sat aside side and watched the majority yeah. of them um, yeah. so it is tough watching every week when you know you can't do anything but today to bounce back and get a valuable point here it's not couldn't have been any better yeah in terms of when you came on actually and, and I don't know maybe you were you weren't anticipating coming on so so early on in, in in terms of being you know your your match fitness and what have you but when fonts went down we, we just that we knock clear and you get the nod what are you thinking uh, I can the gaff I kind of looked over um, I was I got told to warm up about five minutes before um, I probably wasn't going to get used, but I was definitely ready to come on. Um, I played 45 minutes last night and felt good. Um, so to come on today, it was no, it was brilliant. In terms of now, you know, the, the match prep and um, and you know, we'll, we'll not maybe talk too much about this as the, the first point from, from a full time club. But I think in terms of the way that the you know the team set up, um, we we'll had to be physical. We we'll had to match them, and but not only the physicality, we were playing some good football as well. No, definitely. I think the game was there for us today. Um, we competed well, that was probably the Gafford message this week, we need to be, uh, need to be a bit more nastier, um, whether that's game management or putting an extra tackle in, yeah. um, it's probably just getting closer to people and everyone at a man today was brilliant. Um, probably unlucky not to create a couple more chances, um, but I thought everyone worked their socks off and now it's a great point in the end. Yeah, and like you see, you know, we had our chances, and I think there was probably one on either side of the half, just as the, the first half ended, and just as the second half began. You know, we were literally, you know, just inches away for scoring. No, definitely. Um, as I said, we we're well in the game. I think Robbie had two great saves, um, and that was about it. Everyone was kind of played in front of us. I yeah. thought the back four were brilliant. Um, made the gaps very small. Um, played everyone in front of us, and um, no, I thought Shanley and Robbo were excellent up front causing their two centre half problems all day and it was just unlucky not to get over the line with the goal. Yeah and in terms of you know, in, uh, you know the crowd there's over 4,000 here the day they're making a lot of noise but you know they got quieter and quieter as the game went on and they then started getting a bit frustrated and that just showed you you know how how we were you know adapting to the, the game and imposing ourselves. No nah, definitely I think when you come to places like this um, you know it's going to be louder than what we're used to. Um, a lot of the boys have been there before though and when you don't concede in the first half, they start getting a wee bit frustrated, um, yeah. and then it kind of grows yourself into the game. Mm -hmm. And I thought the boys done that; they were uh, brilliant, to a man. Yeah. In terms of now, you're in the kind of the final phase of the games. What are you looking for now in, in terms of you know your your time on the park? Uh, well, it's definitely it has been a long time, so I know I'm not going to walk straight back in. Um, if I can keep coming on, maybe 10, 15 minutes here and there, um, I'll definitely be ready for it. Um, the gaffer's already promised me game time if needed, so it's up to me to keep myself ready, keep myself fit, and hopefully be ready for the rest of the season. In terms of the playoffs, um, we find ourselves, you know, joint fourth, I guess, but in fifth place um, on goal difference. So, you know, there's there's some big games coming up, but to be fair, you know, the one of the bigger ones is, is out the road. We've got Queens on Friday, which is again, you know, they've came off the back a good win. It'll be a tough game. 
Yeah, no, definitely. We've, Queens have caused us problems this year. Um, and hopefully, going in, we've got seven basically cup finals. Um, we know we're close. Um, it's just getting the points over the line, but we've got a great group here and we're going to give it every shot. Any chance of talking us through just at the, uh, the end of the game there, around about the tunnel area? What did you see or what, are, are you not wanting to comment? I, I'll no comment on that, but <laughs> Sh- I think Shanley thought it was... Uh, Shanley thought it was a big man there, but everyone helped him out. <laughs> Shanley <laughs> thought his way about Exactly. To be fair, also, just again, finally, um, there was a big claim here, a penalty in the first half there. We, we, you know, we had a, a bit of review of the footage, and, and it certainly seemed like a penalty that we should have had. No, definitely. I think it's when you come to a place like this, the referees, um, he does get led, away, uh, led astray from the fans sometimes. Yep. And it was a tight angle for him. Um, yep. Fonts has had it quite close to him, so it is hard for the referee, but... If it's the other end, I'm not sure it's... Yeah, yeah. Right. Nevertheless, a stonewaller. Exactly. Should have been given. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> well, listen, Ben, thank you very much for spending some time with us. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers.